now, the last time you came down here, I say, well, it was four or five years ago, yeah. whenever it was, mm. you arrived proper rock star style. Did G Wagon, Mercedes, blacked out windows, two dogs, minders, Ferrari 360, brought down just in case you fancied a lap of the track. I do remember all that. That's right. You are, because we have all the guests that come, we have an entourage right, chart. Yeah. Who, and you're still, no, Jerry Halliwell beat your entourage. She had more people came with her right, than you. Yeah. This time, you, you were. You get 50 Cent down. Has he got a big entourage? Probably about 35, he could bring down, yeah. Nice. Because this time you arrived. In a helicopter, yeah. You see? Yeah. Is this a sign you're growing up or. It's a just sign getting richer? that the roads are too congested, that we live in a draconian road society. And you can't put your foot down anywhere, you know, within reason. Well, you can. And, it's just uh, if you get banned and in a helicopter, you can look at the people on the M25 and go, "I used to be in that." Yeah, I know. I, 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 I know was I'm in not. it this morning. Anyone else get stuck on the M25 this morning? Yeah. yeah. Because did you hear why a lorry had dropped some concrete slabs off it? Well, why don't those people we employ as highway officers just, I don't know, pick them up again? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, how difficult it was close for three hours. Just, I just want to be Mr. Cohn. Because Mr. Cohn is worth a fortune, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Cohn, Cohn, you know. You what are you doing? I mean, have you ever met Mr. Cohn? No, I know what his telephone number is. Yeah. Because it says Cohn Hotline, 08457. Yeah. So, what happens when you pick it up? Well done, you've closed off a really yeah. long and, another, stretch and, of and, 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 you know, and this is the other thing. You come back from Goodwood, big event. You know, they know people are coming back on a Sunday night. What do they do? Cone off the A3. Yeah. No, but the one last, lane down to the The last line. two weeks we've done this, not today, somebody useless has crashed on the A3 and closed it. It's taken nearly all day to get everyone down here. Mm. Now, what were you doing in Scotland? Have you got a house up there? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I love Scotland. Absolutely love it. Is it the food or the weather or the midges? It's, the absence it's, of midges. It's the midges. Well, I go when there are no midges, you see. That's there. That's what do you do up there? Um, do a bit of writing, do a bit of walking, take the dog, ride bikes on the beach. Nice, to, really see, nice to see that KTM there. The chap came out, he said, I'm going to lend you one of those because you've just bought six KTMs. Oh, that bicycle thing, that motorbike with two extra that, wheels. That oh, God, thing, Hammonds. It, it looks, I mean, for a first car, cracking stuff. No, but they won't sell it to you until you're 24. Oh, really? No. <laughs> but you're all right, because you are growing up. And somebody told me you were into camping these days. I'm a huge camping fan. What, in a tent? Well, I do a bit of tent, but it's mostly camper van. It's luxury camping. I was going to say, because... You know, it's not, it's not that, yeah, yeah. It's not all that, getting wet and bitten mosquitoes. What, so you just go and park, a, a, effectively, a caravan with an engine in a wood? And... Yeah, it's got a little 2.8 turbo diesel in it, and it's built by a company in Germany, and they've got a little garage, you've got a little 125 cc in the back why don't you just go to mauritius because i don't want to it is nice camping's horrid do you know what i've been to mauritius and it was full of south african courting couples nuzzling at each other actually it's true no honeymoon couples honeymoon couples because they do form they are the new germans the yeah. south africans you, that's need to, you need to stay away from that snake cape cobra <laughs> yeah. yeah they do yeah they're funny he's guys. done it again <laughs> it's more hungarian it is. Uh, now, where are we going to go? What is your insurance premium these days on your cars? Oh. Is it really here? I know that's a rude question. I, 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 you know what? Well, the thing is, if I tell you, and then say it's quite reasonable, they'll put it up. <laughs> 20 grand for the Enzo on its own. 20 grand for the Enzo? 20,000 pounds? <laughs> for the what? The <laughs> Enzo. For the Enzo? Yeah, on its own. <laughs> Uh, now, um, uh. I'm, I won't bother going through the list of everything you've got because the programme's only an hour long, OK? Yeah. <laughs> but since you were last here, what's, yeah. what have been the main changes? Well, let's, what's in... Well, well, the main stuff is that I've got into Porsches for, for, for some unknown reason. I, I had a 911T, it was about the first classic car I ever had, years and years ago, and it was a dog, you know, I mean, it was a Turbo, you said, a 911T? No, turbo. it was just a T, just a 911T, oh, right. the little 2-litre, okay. 2.2-litre two right. two number. Yeah. And then I bought, not so long ago, well, about three or four years, I bought an RS Touring, which is the factory sunroof, yeah. rear seat, 911, you know, Carrera down the side, wider arches, yeah. 2.7 engine. And I was so impressed with it, you know, that I, 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 kept, the, the, I, I kept going over to a friend of mine who, who, who basically deals in, in, uh, in Porsches. And I walked in and he had two little 356s, pre-A356, you yeah. know, little James Dean Speedster. So I ended up taking a, a mint black one of those and a 1950 car, a split screen, 40 horsepower Porsche. I mean, bearing in mind, uh, he started making cars, Ferry Porsche, in 1948. In Early, 
So this is a really early car. The, 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 in fact, I think it's the first car brought to the UK, and the guy that used to own it was the test pilot for the Harrier Jump Jet. And the Harrier Jump Ooh. Jet, no, the Harrier Jump Jet, which Harrier was Jump painted Jet. in this very hangar. Ooh, connections, connections. I know, because you got rid of your Astons, which I do yeah. sort of get. Why is that? Because uh, because I'd had it for 10 years. I had it since I was about 20. Which one was it? I forgot. A DB5. Oh, a 5. I had it since I was about 25. And, you know, it was the, uh, it was the old thing. If ever, it was actually a factory silver birch, the actual James Bond colour. Mm -hmm. uh, and there weren't many made like that. And uh, they've, they've rocketed through the roof on price. And, you know, even if you get your Aston DB5 perfect, it'll only ever drive like a DB5 does. Which, which is, is like a Scania uh, truck. Yeah, no, I mean, a little dainty gear stick. You know, I mean, it's not the, the, the best one. <coughs> Look fantastic, <coughs> but... Yeah, yeah, very expensive to do, not the best fun in the world. And in fact, there was a guy at Pebble Beach, an American guy who had a DB5, and he asked some guy to paint it. And the guy said, sure, I'll paint it for you. You want it silver birch? Sure, I'll paint it silver birch. Then I'll put a f***ing great scratch down it so you can see it's yours, because every other f***ing car is silver birch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, they yeah, all want the Bond colour. Yeah, they all want the Bond colour. No, they do. Of course, that's not the... Uh, it's not the at the point. So there's uh, now the Enzo, obviously very expensive to insure. We've established yeah. that. Yeah. How is it... How is it living with an Enzo? Because left-hand drive, if you pull up a, to an oblique junction, you yeah. have to just rub you've the rosaries to, before yeah, setting you've off. You've got to actually turn in, sort well, of yeah. straight. I Seriously. Mean, look, it's nothing like a Lamborghini Countach, you know. I mean, I had one of those ones for a day. Well, you're the you right know, the old, the old periscope model with yeah. no mirrors. I mean, you had that sort of pillbox to look at. Yeah. And you get to it. And I, I remember sitting there for... I don't know, I could have sat there all day. Left hand drive. And I literally had to take the belt off, lean over, open the door. And it was one of those ones where people look, you know, you've got to pick your moment, and then eventually shut the door and go. And it was, you know what it was horrible. I had the mirror as well. I don't know how Bob Wallace, the old test driver, did it, but second, will you go in second gear? But, but, Won't have it. Because you know what Nick Mason's done with his uh, Enzo? The problem is, right, okay, they're left hand drive. So if you pull up at a junction like this and you turn to see what's coming, you cannot see. All you can see is yeah, the Yeah, there is that little bit there. It's, it's well, dodgy. He's put one of those wide rear view mirror things on the passenger sun visor. Oh, OK. So he's trusting something that costs one ninety nine yeah. from Halfords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to, the Ford GT was the same, and I had that. Oh, was that. I, I, I know you had a Ford GT. I had one. You know, uh, you know can you please at least make the wipers actually stop... Mm. There and not there, or there or there or there. And, then, and can I have somewhere to put A, some change, B, a phone, C, a pair of sunglasses? No, is no, it no, too no. much to ask? There was and one also, other the other thing is, can I just say, no, sorry, no, no, yeah, I, the other bloody us. thing about this GT, those little holes, mm. oh, you know, like the original GT40, you know, those little holes were soft, nice mm. leather with little ring. It's not big, hard bits of plastic. No, I used to get in bed at night and my wife would go, what have you been doing? So yeah. I've been sort of Max Mosley somewhere. Yeah. Your back's all stenciled. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now, the worst thing Harder. about the GT, driving it at night ever, was uh, the only car with headlights that you have to light I, with a lighter. They were just yeah. candles in jam jars. Yeah. You couldn't see a thing. Yeah. And, 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 and weird here with these wings, because they come out, you mm. could never quite work. Is that the sign of the car? It's very strange. But living with the Enzo is, quite frankly, frustrating. Clutch? Because... Have you had the clutch go yet? No, no, You know no, if you use no. launch control? Yeah, you see, I do. Do you know how like, I, You know why I don't do like that Why? because it costs bloody too much money it, forget it, it it's still quick enough anyway you know three starts with the launch control yeah. and it has to go yeah. back to italy yeah. for a new clutch and i think yeah. they are oh, i don't know because i've never changed mine Ten. so let's not talk about it in case it goes but... anyway listen apart from the gt yeah. which we had in common there are a number of other things yeah you've got a csl now bmw csl anyone? that's right the, like three liter, because you're, is yours a Batmobile? Well, I used to. Have I'm deliberately a conducting the interview like this to make my mother not watch a show for once. Yeah. Because she won't know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I used to have the Batmobile, and now I've just got a straight CSL. Color? Uh, is actually it's green, it's, orange, red, white. No. Oh. This is a designated two two seven five serial number, so it is a CSL, one of the five hundred right hand drives. Mm -hmm. uh, but some guy has come along. I mean, I did take it at a steal, this car, you know. I mean, I, I really wanted one as a smoker because, you know, it's well, this pillarless, 12, this pillarless well, I know, I've got to pull my 15 grand or something, but it's a pillarless construction, and, and this guy's completely done all the 
uh, inner wings and all the sills and everything mm -hmm. that goes because it's a common constructed car. So he's done all that. He's painted it. Do you remember the old uh, Schwartz grey BMW? Mm. 80s grey, nice and he's colour. painted a bloody great motorsport stripe right down the Not middle the of black it. And I stripe. think it's really cool. And I drove no, it into London, it and four people went, "Can I buy that off you, mate?" Has it it's got the? Have you put the cement bags in the boot? No, I you haven't. do need that. Yeah, yeah, but that's after fun. It's isn't steering light though. Because steering is very light. Beautiful. And thing. you sit going, "Wow, this is light." I'm no. going backwards. Yeah. It makes it. It makes it. It's a, a lovely, lovely thing. Right? And I tell you what, because of the construction. You know, I don't think there are many left. And if it was a Ferrari, it would be 50 times the money. And with do you that know beautiful why? pillarless line. Oh, it is one of the most beautiful looking cars. And the you know what? The other thing, don't need a mirror, because your C pillar is as thin oh, as a matchstick. It's stunning. Love do it. you know why? You know, they made a thousand. Look at these poor people. I know, sit down. <laughs> they've come We're to watch a show, and We're we suddenly cars. got into this whole conversation. Do you know why? You know, they made a thousand. Okay, what? in total, of what? CSLs, no, they, 500 they, were right-hand drive. Yeah, I know. Do you know why half you, came to Britain? No, I know, but you're do you telling, know? You're telling me things I just told you. <laughs> All right, then. Why did we get 500 in this country, in, in Britain, and 500 for the whole rest of the world? I don't because know. the BMW importer got drunk. They were, they were, it was 1972. Yeah. Three, oil crisis in full swing. Everyone's saying, no way, we'll yeah. never be able to sell cars yeah. like that. British bloke. Oh, 500 of them. Yeah. And we got f half their you, total... Do you realise, though, that that car, at the time, was uh, more than an Aston Martin it was. V8? It was. It was more money Seven than an Aston Martin V8, and it was more money than an Alfa Romeo in Montreal. Yep. It was... Uh, Unbelievably expensive. Anything, really. So honestly, if you're looking for a really stupid car to buy that looks fantastic, yeah, that's, that's a, the one that's to go for. That's a pig to restore. That's the one. That's the one. No, oh, no, it's running a grocer. That is the most catastrophic. Oh, oh I, I, honestly, it was just. I just had this whole thing about you know. I've got a little bit of hydraulic fluid, and it's coming out on the door. And this whole thing's got pipes, tiny thin pipes everywhere, because none of it's electric. It's all hydraulic. Windows, doors. I mean, just the door lock alone. I don't even want to say how much it is. It's seven grand <laughs> just to do the door lock. Have it's you, like, had, the, you, know have you had the window switches? Do you know what? Go? I don't want the door to go. No. I'll just shut it myself. Window switches. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. Mind seven you, when they're working, pounds. anybody says, excuse me, mate, you got a fiver? Yeah, sure. Boom. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's it. You've had it. No, no, they will. They it's will full on. Actually, they know. do. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, no, it will. Then they'd have somebody's head, head in the car. Yeah. Which, for a grocer, would, exactly. would find quite normal. Yeah, it would almost be like, if you did it on all four sides, it would be like sort of having Secret Service men with you, wouldn't it? Running along. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now listen, we've talked about cars yeah. long enough, which is great talking which to you. Which is great, we share, I love we do it. Genuinely we do share, share the same passions. Uh, we the like same, the same motors, we do like the same motors. It is, and you, yeah, we do have the same sort of cars. Was this from a Shadow? From a what? It's a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow, these seats are from. Yeah, what was the chassis number? I don't know, but I, yeah. but I know you've got that little armrest, which I love those. Isn't things. that just Isn't that fantastic? Lovely? Pull it out. Oh, yeah. You've got one as well there. It's yeah. where James keeps his special toys. Yeah. Have you, have um, you, have you noticed... Don't look in there! It's like Alan Partridge's special drawer. <laughs>